Is that, we're recording, and away we go. Right, thanks. Pedro here, 
Yeah. Pedro, all right. Thanks for making it. I called up just a little while ago and said, hey, Dan, are, are you in Camarillo for your meeting today? So I worked him through on his computer over the phone. I've got him back to the website and show him how to get to the blog site. And he can see exactly where we are, what's going on. So this is where you want to look to find out what's happening with the next meeting. Plus, each time we do the meeting, we video the whole thing. It all goes up on YouTube. And you just go back to that meeting, click on a link there, the picture, whatever. It'll take you directly to the YouTube location. And then you can watch all the information that was at a meeting that you missed back up on YouTube. Or if you were at a meeting and you said, you know, that thing went for an hour and I didn't get enough notes. I don't remember exactly what they said at this point in time. I wish I could do a repeat. Well, this is how you do a repeat. Go back to the blog site, click on the link, get back to the YouTube. And the nice thing about this is it's chopped up in about 10 or 15 minute segments. So that means that, uh, you know, you can mark down the time and get back to that particular video anytime you want. It's not like having to go to a webinar. So normally this shows up kind of some favorites, just some quick little things, but if you go to an actual meeting that we did, you're going to see six or so videos on this side over here of that particular meeting, and you can start going through those to see what you missed. Okay? So it's all up in YouTube. And then we have Janice Bell here from Energy Wise. And she, Janice, are you from uh, San Diego, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick little switch. I want to uh, encourage you to take a good listen to what she has to say because she's got, you know, coaching and all kinds of really good information about how to deal with all this real estate investing in this economy, which can be pretty difficult. Okay, so uh, let's give Janice a hand for making it up for San Diego. Which is over here.
um, each other and for the speakers, and that's really how I started. And I took a lot of boot camps, like a lot of you probably done, so um, got my education that way. And then recently, the last couple of years, um, I've been coaching for some of the girls. Um, you know, they sell their big coaching package, and then someone has to do the coaching. So I've coached probably now about 250 students um, that are real estate investors across the country um, in a fun coaching program. So I'm going to talk today about, start out with wholesaling, and then work through um, some of the secrets of private money, and then um, how we do rehabbing. I really do like rehabbing because I like to take something that looks like junk and make it better. Yes? Is it any way you can speak up just a tad bit? Sorry. I, I probably can. You, have, you hear noise from down below? Yeah. There's no mic on this one. Right? No, unfortunately, no. OK, I'll stop. Spring. Or you might want to move up a little. There's a couple spaces up here. Because I know there's noise in the background. I got you. As a matter of fact, if you don't mind not being able to see the screen too much, there's tables right up here. Right up here in front, there's a couple tables. All right, so those are the four topics I'm going to cover today. Uh, rehabbing and then a new area I'm in uh, called Trailer Cash. So that's a, a new area. I've been in single family homes and apartments and uh, just kind of moved into a newer area. And for me, um, I was a little nervous just because it was new. You know, I wasn't sure of the dynamics of it. So I'm going to talk, you see the hurdler on the side. I'm going to talk about the hurdles you face when you go into a new area or a new market. And I don't know if anyone knows, what's the acronym for fear? Does anyone know that? False evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. I didn't coach her before this. She just knows this. All right, and then there's a definition of fear, which is totally different. That's anticipation of pain. Now, I think you probably all realize that pain is something physically we go through. There's, there's mental pain as well. But in real estate, you probably no one's going to cut your arm off, cut your leg, or shoot you. Hopefully, unless you're in a war zone. But we anticipate, you know, this pain that's really not going to happen. And it's something that you just have to work through step by step. Get your knowledge together. And I say the next thing you need is the knowledge. Have the knowledge. Where do you find uh, cash to go with that? And then get mentors and coaches so that you don't feel like you're doing it alone and talk about it in the group. So I'm going to bring back the, that concept of fear because every once in a while it comes up. It came up for me, for me when I bought the first mobile home. And here I have apartment buildings. And I was worried about a couple thousand dollars because it was a new area. It was a new um, uh, section of real estate that I just hadn't been in. So I just had to learn the road. I'm one of these people who I will take it one step at a time. I know that I don't know the final step, and I'll just and I'll give an example later if I forget. Remind me to talk about at the auction that I went to, and I didn't know how it was going to go, and I just started with one step. And, Wait until the next thing happened and went through it that way. So this is the biggest opportunity of our lifetime. I'm excited about what's happening now in 2010 and 2011 and what's going to happen in the next couple of years. Everyone else thinks the real estate market is, is in the toilet, it's the pits, and that's because things are getting cheaper and it's better for us as investors. So I want you to know that, that it is an opportunity. What I like to see is look in markets where we're in the 1990s prices. The 1990s was the last time people bought things at the right price and they were able to cash flow those. So I like to look on Trulia because they'll often go back in the sales history and you can see what they sold it for in 1998. And you know, if, if we're at that price now, that's where I want to be. So um, find a market and I'll talk a little bit about ways to, uh, free websites I use to research different markets. Um, develop partnerships and really it's all about the relationships in this business. I've been able to wholesale properties to investors because I knew knew the buyers, I had a relationship with them, and I had a relationship with the people in that market that were finding the properties. I really never saw the house, but I did wholesale it. And so I, even when I, I look at the picture of the house, I have to look at the address that I labeled it with because I, I never saw the house at all, but I did wholesale it to, to someone who is quite happy with the cash flows. So in developing relationships with other investors and also with with the realtors um, that's the, that have some of the inventory. So the first topic I'm going to go into is the wholesaling 
really how to find the deals. Then I'll go over analyzing the deal and some of the sites I use.